All right, man. Let us kill these Greeks with their large shields and heavy armor. Uh, General, they're dropping their shields. What's up guys, Blademaster here, going to be bringing you a Blade Balance battle fought between me and uh, Helvetian Slayer in uh, Nemiratsana. Just a usual old Blade Balance battle, nothing to see here, well there's the video to see, but it uh, doesn't seem to be anything special, it's just the usual battle. Of course, I only bring very standard traditional battles uh, in my channel, I pride myself on boring content. <laughs> uh, no, there's there's a special surprise here hidden in uh, in as as you keep watching, just, just keep watching. Let's talk about the um, army compositions: two uh, blade slingers, two militia hoplites, a mix of samnite warriors and thorax hoplites, a couple of companion cav, a hippias lancer, uh, two uh, uh, mercenary Italian cav, some more hippias lancer, and three um, militia hoplites, two in the uh, front and one on the left flank. For Armenia, uh, we've got a lot, some Persian hoplites, some uh, axemen, blade slingers, lots of axemen, lots of cartly axemen, uh, in a solitary eastern cataphract, I believe, and some Persian cav with some noble blood cav and some axemen and cartly axemen to support. Okay, so under traditional rules, it would be uh, this would be just a regular battle, but this is the latest change that I want to uh, put into blade balance. Uh, it's super alpha right now, so it's not a publicly available to everyone. Uh, so don't fret, it's not going to change everything. Uh, there's, of course, the usual blade balance that you can play and enjoy. This is the new Syracuse, and I want to put this into Athens as well. That's my intention. I don't know if I'll put this at all in the game if it's unbalanced. But so far, so good. Drop shields. It removes all missile block chance for your hoplites, increases speed by 35%, and increases melee attack by, I think, uh, 20%, and removes uh, melee defense by about 5% or something like that big 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 thanks to chat shit get gaming aka chewy uh i'll link his uh, youtube channel in the description i believe he's got some videos up but anyways uh just you know huge favor he did for me there um this is such an interesting thing like it's the thing that i really wanted to put into blade balance for a long long time but i just didn't know how to so this is the second ability that is in syracuse it's called archimedes blessing uh yeah, I'll change the the uh, you know the th the name soon enough. It increases reload rate by twenty five to thirty percent. The reason why I've put this is because it gives uh, Syracuse a very unique feel. Uh, on the one hand, you have Hoplites who don't have any mis uh, missile block chance, who've essentially dropped their shields even though their shields are still there. I mean, uh, the anime I have, I have to remove. I don't know how to do that, but yeah, essentially they have zero missile block chance. But on the other hand, you have incredibly buffed up slingers with thirteen shots per minute, <laughs> who can destroy the enemy sli uh, archers or slingers if they so choose to. But still, I mean, let's let's just I'll try and show you guys how it works. Militia Hoplite is now 32, uh, melee, uh, th 32 melee attack. Charged in with my Mercy Italian Cav against his Hillmen. They're already wavering. Bringing in my Samnite Warriors. He's charging in with the Persian Cav. And I'm bringing my Hippias Lancer with uh, Fast Charge. Oh, sorry, my Mercy Companion Cav. With Fast Charge, they have 104 melee attack. <laughs> because the melee attack, it's, it's literally just a, it, it's 1.3. So it, it increases, like, it times your standard melee attack by, like, 30% or no, it's 20%, I'm not really sure. But in any case, they have insane melee attack now. But they have zero missile block chance, so they, they're even more, uh, you know, um, susceptible to getting destroyed by enemy missiles. Axman here is trying to waver, they of course don't have great uh, morale. Uh, but now he's bringing in his uh, eastern cataphracts everywhere and his uh, his Persian cab. I'm uh, moving around my Hippias Lancer General. The, the General is going to be so um, susceptible to enemy... Um, missiles because he has zero missile block chance of course and only 60 armor coming in with my other companion cav here knocking down the persian hoplites but they're taking so much fire from hillman and i'll tr just try and show you guys that's 79 uh, 76 75 and they get completely hammered they are down to 62 that's the that's the you know the thing of uh, having zero missile block chance Helvetian Slayer is for, now he at the moment he's trying to destroy my Balearic Slingers. 
the you know Archimedes blessing is is not drop shields is there for the rest of the game so that's the big thing that you need to realize your units will be completely susceptible to missiles for the entirety of the game so while it might look like companion cav may be OP right now look at this he's just f uh, focusing fire with the slingers and the companion cav are going to drop really really quickly so that's why I'm pulling them away the thing about companion cav is that they, they'll still take a little bit of time to die to sling, slinger fire because they have such insane armor in the first place and they have, uh, you know, 100 health. But what I've realized is even with something like a thorax hoplite, they take time to die initially, but once they start dropping, they drop so quickly. The reason why this happens is because the uh, when, when slingers first start firing their first couple of volleys, then what they're essentially doing is damaging their, their armor and uh, lowering their hit points. Once their hit points are lowered to, an, to a, uh, you know, enough level from the first couple of volleys, the third and fourth volley just destroys, it just hammers all of them in a matter of seconds. Here I'm coming in with Noble Cap to uh, kill off the Persian Cavalry, which my APS lines are charged into. This companion cav is charging up against a uh, mercenary Cappadocian. The Cappadocian is going to do incredibly well against my, uh, my companion. Pulling away my companion here, they still have 43 men. I'm not doing a good job microing them though, I feel. He's, uh, I start firing onto his Noble Spearman General. They're not very tired, they've lost some men. My, uh, let's see, my Samnite Warriors, they've got 126 kills against, uh, you know, a mixture of uh, Axemen and, um, you know, the other Axemen and whatever, um, Persian Harpites. They now have 54 melee attack, but they are taking so much damage and the enemies don't have great, um, you know, great morale. Thorax Hoplites here, rear charging a Persian Hoplite. They have 51 melee attack now. They, I've tested out uh, Thorax Hoplites in, um, you know, with fast charge. Or sorry, uh, thorax hoplites with what's it called? Drop shields versus thorax hoplites without drop shields. And the thorax hoplites with drop shields, if they get a proper charge in, they kill off the enemy thorax hoplites with around 80 men left, which I think is is pretty good because, you know, th having there's they've essentially lost the ability to block 50% of enemy missiles. So that's a huge thing to take away from them. But anyways, here I'm coming in with Italian Cav, uh, trying to kill off his mercenary Cappadocians. Italian Cav rear-charging some of the hillmen and killing, killing them off. Militia Hoplites haven't done much. Uh, the Companion Cav taking uh, fire from... Look at that! That Slinger just got like five kills on Companion Cav in a matter of seconds. They've gotten a single experience shot run. That is to be expected if you're fighting up against a Syracuse army with hardly any missile block chains. All of his Slingers have done really, really well. This Hippias Lancer Gen hit his Axeman, but now it's stuck, and I'm not microing them very well. The Hippias Lancer, already a susceptible unit, not the tankiest unit, and now I don't know what to do with them. My general's basically dead. His uh, Eastern Cataphracts still have 65 men. My Thorax Hoplites got a single experience chevron, but the Axemen are doing really well. I love uh, Armenia in Blade Balance. They are a legit power faction, I think. They are, I have, it's, I've found it so incredibly hard to beat Armenia. They have very very good melee infantry and great shock cavalry so yeah using the persian cav is i think essential if you don't if you bring an armenian army without persian cav it's a shit armenian army i have to say because persian cav uh you know they uh they fill that role of having a cost effective mid-tier cavalry and usually before it wasn't really very important for armenia because their uh, melee infantry were so bad but now since you have great melee infantry uh you can afford to bring just whoa Okay, never mind. You can afford to bring just regular shock cav and not the super powerful Eastern Cataphracts. So this Thorax Hoplite with 77 men left, uh, killing off this Eastern Slinger which has gotten a double experience chevron. You ha I, I mean, it's my first battle playing with uh, Syracuse 2.0, so I still have some things to learn. You guys let me know what you think of this change and uh, if you think that this can be exploited in any way. My concerns are if I move it to, uh, you know, Athens, you get they, people who just put it on their mercenary Thracian warriors who don't have many much missile block chains in the first place and then you'd have super buffed up Thracian warriors although I don't think that's going to be OP because mercenary Thracian warriors are anyways expensive they're 500 talents and they are very very flimsy so yeah I don't know if that's really something that's um, going to be very important the Axemen here my Thorax Hoplite's got a charge on them they just slaughtered them on the charge and it looks pretty uh you know it looks pretty even so far but he's got so much axemen left axemen here uh, an axemen there a noble spearman with 111 men i'm coming in with a companion cap with 25 men left but it's it looks like he's go uh, helvetian slayer is going to take this battle still haven't found a way to successfully win out against armenia they're just so good in blade balance um so he i think he's going to win out against me here uh, yeah it's pretty clear that he is uh very well played to helvetian slayer 
incredibly interesting game because my first time playing against uh, playing with Syracuse without with drop shield Syracuse. Uh, you can see my um, Sam Knight Warriors didn't do great against the enemy Hillman and uh, Cartley Axman. My Thorax Hoplites did pretty decently. Companion Cab and Hippias Lancers did okay, but the thing was, I I don't know if it's the right thing to. It's not like are you? It's not like Swaby and Ariovistus. Ariovistus is excuse me, a general ability that you have to use with Swaby all the time. This, uh, you know, this, I don't know what to call it, this drop shields thing with Syracuse is not a good idea to use against Armenia because Armenia has great slingers, has great skirmishes, and, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's uh, a lot of the, they've got excellent cavalry to counter your cavalry. So if someone brings Rome, I would like to see the Syracuse army fight against, fight against something like Rome, uh, or Boyai or something like that. That would be very interesting to see. But yeah, um, if you guys uh, are on my friend list, you can probably use try this mod. The reason why I haven't made it public yet is because, I mean, it's obviously super, super alpha. Um, I have another change that's coming soon to uh, Chimeria, I think, uh, or that I want to do for Chimeria. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, watching this new Syracuse. Uh, and stay tuned for more. Peace.